I was in Australia for good uh, 17, 18 years uh, with my wife. We started Simply Fresh in uh, 2013 on a land parcel of 10 acres near Shamirpet. That was our first farm. And that's where the journey started. And uh, from there, um, we were uh, quite happy where the technology was working. And we developed this technology and the thought process in Australia. The concept is very simple. We, we call it uh, talking to the plant, meaning you need to know what plant needs, when it needs, how much it needs, and how can you automate all this on a larger scale. So that was the thought process. And uh, we did a lot of trials, errors, and a lot of tests. So we put up a farm, first farm in Shamirpet. And uh, results were phenomenal. We were very happy with the technology, how it was working. And uh, then we went for uh, fundraising because, as you know, India is the huge. It would have been not possible to service uh, such a big country and international markets on a small scale. Mm -hmm. So then we went for fundraising and then we raised uh, private equity and then we did our phase two. So phase two is also complete. What you see behind me is our phase two uh, from Arjun Patla. Mm -hmm. This is our nursery. And we just got it uh, soft commissioned uh, last month which is doing our uh, test and trials and uh, we are uh, ready for the prime time. Hydroponic is uh, in nutshell is nothing but delivering the nutrient using water. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the technical definition of hydroponics. So if you have a small setup at your home where you're using water to deliver nutrients to the plant, you can call it hydroponic. If you have a large scale farm where you are delivering what nutrients using water, you can call it hydroponics. The difference between precision ag and uh, hydroponics, hydroponics is one part. Hydroponic is not the overall umbrella. So precision ag uh, is a lot more than that. For example, you want to control your climate inside the greenhouse. Then you need a proper weather station. You need all the data to come in. Then you need a platform where algorithms are there, which will decide what should be the climatic condition inside your greenhouse. What time you have to change and what are the equipment you can control using a computer at a precision level. Okay. For example, I want to maintain the humidity at 65%. It should not be 10% plus test, 10, uh, uh, 10 plus minus. So it has to be very precise. And to achieve that, you need a lot of different industries to work together. Without technology, you cannot deliver precision, whether it's a hardware technology, whether it's a software technology, whether it's a, a agronomy technology. All this uh, is uh, very technically and technologically driven because when you are talking about a very large scale, you cannot rely on uh, people to do so many things correctly every time. Oh. So you have to rely on technology to automate it. And uh, what it does, it gives you a very good result and it happens at the right time automatically. Okay. And some of the formulas, some of the decisions are uh, very difficult for a humanly mind to decide on a large scale farm. So nutraceutical, what we are trying to address here is a lot of these uh, companies, uh, whether they sell medicine or alkaloids or tablets, they have a predominantly an issue with sourcing the right quality of raw material. Mm -hmm. And it is mostly grown in wild. It's not very organized uh, sector, how these um, medicinal and aromatic plants have been growing. So every batch is different. Sometimes you get high content of alkaloid. Sometimes you don't get high content of alkaloid. Sometimes you get it. Sometimes because of rain or because of some climatic condition, you don't get the raw material. And a lot of times the contamination is so high that it, it is not possible to make a medicine out of it. And you have to go through a distillation process, remove it and purify it. So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to give them a raw material which is high in alkaloids. In a lot of cases, our produce has two to three times more alkaloids compared to the local market or uh, uh, available in the wet market. Plus, the traceability is there. The uh, origin certificate is there. It is sustainably grown. And it is very clean, doesn't have any heavy metals, any chemicals or pesticides. So it becomes very, very easy for the companies to do the extraction. Today, our capacity, you could say five, uh, 500 metric ton a month. That's our production capacity today per month. A look at the nutraceutical for us has been the major driver. 
that's where uh, uh, our majority of focus is mm -hmm. and uh, at the same time uh, fresh has been now uh, also equally important to us so our distribution model is uh, quite simple we are trying to be available wherever it is easier for our customers to pick mm -hmm. so we are present across modern retail we are present on online platforms we are present on uh, dth Uh, direct delivery to home model so we are working with various uh, companies uh, various partners to make sure it is easy for people who want to buy our product is available so right now our produce is available in hyderabad bangalore mumbai pune and a little bit in chennai mm -hmm. and uh, because of covid uh, we could not expand and uh, now as you know everybody is in a wait and watch situation what will happen and uh, when this covid uh, pandemic will end so we do have aspirations to be present in seven cities but as i said the time we don't know because of covid when we will uh, do that so the phase 1 is uh, 22 acres uh, that has been completed now and the phase 2 and phase 3 have been uh, built as we speak so as i mentioned i mean uh, with 22 acres we are able to get around uh, i'm just giving you a blended uh, average is around 500 uh, tons per month and uh, this site where we are would go up to 60 to 80 acres in phase 2 and phase 3 government uh, focus as such i have not seen on precision ag or hydroponic or uh, high tech ag most of the government policies are targeted towards uh, the normal farming and uh, uplifting uh, or multiplying dairy yield so uh, Uh, that's where the focus is and there is also a very good focus on developing cold chain developing a good supply chain so uh, the second part is very interesting for us because if there is a very good uh, distribution network good network of cold storage good network of refer vans that will definitely help to keep the produce uh, clean safe and also retain the shelf life so mm -hmm. that is what is uh, lacking uh, today if you ask us because if you have a very good network of distribution in the refer vans then uh, you know it gets that much easier to transport and work so i have seen lot of focus from the government on the second part which is more uh, closer to us than the first part new verticals for us is uh, we are working on healthy snacking category we are trying to offer a healthy snack which is in a snack format where you can just pick and eat so that is uh, uh, one space we are working on very closely mm -hmm. to make it more interesting and uh, yummy and uh, you know very convenient to pick a snack healthy snack and eat it we've been working on it for a very long time mm -hmm. and uh, we just have uh, been uh, put up a very good processing unit at our new farm where we are able to get those type of products out mm -hmm. so um, right now uh, we are just making sure all the machinery is all the packing all the cleaning washing uh, that machines are all uh, working together and uh, they are performing well so we have done lot of trials so they we are planning to get them out as soon as possible